This video is all about a great concept called home theater bypass. Let's take a look at how it evolved and how it works. Now, ever since the birth of home theater, there's been a chasm between having a great sounding two channel stereo system and a home theater surround sound system in the same room. Audiophiles just cringed at the idea of listening to their vinyl, their CDs, or digital music files through a less than ideal home theater receiver. And on the other hand, some home theater enthusiasts who wanted to dive into the world of high-res music or analog wondered how this could work with their home theater setup. In the early days of surround sound, accomplishing this goal was daunting and might involve combining two systems, then physically moving the cables around, which was extremely inconvenient. Then, the makers of better sounding two-channel audio gear recognized this need, and they added a new feature on their products that made it all simple as could be. That new feature had several different names depending on the brand, but they all did the same exact thing, which we will call here Home Theater Bypass. Let's first take a look at why you might want to implement this into your system. A home theater receiver is a pretty amazing piece of equipment, and here we have a very popular model, the Ankyo RZ50. This unit provides switching for all your video sources and processes the incoming surround sound information, be it Dolby Atmos or DTS. Now this circuitry sorts out all the different channels of surround sound and sends them out to the built-in amplifiers, which in this case, this unit has nine separate amplifiers all inside, and some home theater receivers even have up to 13 different amplifiers all inside this box. Now most home theater receivers also have some type of room correction software built in, which requires a lot of software horsepower to run. And almost all of them also have the capability of running sound to another room separately called Zone 2 or even Zone 3. You'll find a good chunk of them have many streaming services built in or AirPlay, Chromecast, or just all of them. Now that is a whole lot going on inside this single box. This particular one is pretty beefy and weighs in around 30 pounds, but that is still an awful lot happening inside just one single piece of gear, especially the nine separate amplifiers. Now on the other hand, let's look at a nice piece of two channel audio gear. Here we have the Macintosh MAC7200. Now this piece of gear, as you can see, is built like a tank. It only has two channels of amplifiers built in, yet weighs two and a half times as much as the Ankyo receiver. It's got a great array of inputs for the two channel audio enthusiasts, including a moving magnet and moving coil phono input, lots of other analog inputs, and even a cool digital board that you can switch out and upgrade should digital technology change over time. But there's no video switching, no surround sound processing, no additional amplifiers, or any of the other things you'll normally see in a home theater receiver. Now, if we were to connect this beast of a two-channel piece up to a nice pair of speakers and listen to them, then install the Ankyo in its place, which one do you think would sound better? Of course, it's the Macintosh piece. It has far more real power available, and it is designed to do one thing, make stereo music listening an amazing experience. So you might have two scenarios. The first would be someone who owned either this exact piece of Macintosh gear or something similar to it. They would have a great two channel system with high performance left and right speakers and nothing else. But they really want to enjoy surround sound too, but worry about adding to it is going to mess up the sound of their main music system. On the other hand, you could have someone who has this Ankyo receiver or something similar. Perhaps they have gotten into listening to music more and upgraded their left and right speakers to better models, but something still seems to be missing. They would like a way to improve their music experience, but love how the home theater portion already sounds. We'll enter the home theater bypass to turn both of these situations into dreams come true. Let's see how it will all connect up. In the first case, the person with the stereo system will need to add a home theater receiver and the number of speakers they want to get into surround sound. Since they already have their left and right speakers, it will be a minimum of three with a center channel and two surround channels. One key tip here is if it fits your situation, you will want to pick a home theater receiver that has front preamp outs. You can see them here on the back of this Ankyo receiver. Now, if you have any questions about which home theater receiver might be best for your system, our passionate team of home theater experts are here to help. We just love helping people improve their sound and can give you great advice to help you pick the right one for your home theater setup. We will take a pair of audio cables and run them from the front left and right outputs of the Ankyo receiver over to the Macintosh. In the case of the MAC7200, it is pretty cool in that you can turn any of the analog inputs into the home theater bypass input. We're going to connect them to analog one, and then we're going to jump into the menu and make those what Macintosh calls pass through. 
Then you'll need to go through the setup process for your new home theater receiver. And as you might guess, we have videos on how to best set up your home theater receiver too that we will link below. So how does this all work? Well, we basically bypass the volume control circuitry in the Macintosh. The Ankyo will send the feed for the left and right channels out through its preamp outputs over to the Macintosh and your front left and right speakers will be powered by it for home theater use. When you want to use it in a home theater, you simply select pass through input we set up. If you have a smart remote, you can even automate this. The volume for home theater will be controlled by the home theater remote control. And when you want to enjoy great two channel music, there is no need to even turn on the Ankyo. Everything two channel stayed connected to the Macintosh and for two channel listening, the Ankyo is completely out of the signal path. As you can see, this gets the best of both worlds. For the second situation, the basic wiring concept is the same, except for a couple more changes. If you added a high performance two channel piece of gear to your home theater system, you'll want to move your front left and right speaker connections over to the two channel piece. You will also want to move any of your two channel sources over to it as well. Then the rest will be the same as what we just did. Now once done, you should run your home theater calibration again as your main left and right speakers will probably play at a slightly different volume level after you move things around. And in this case, we have given a nice home theater a really great two channel setup for music listening. I hope this has helped you understand how you can have both great home theater and amazing two channel listening all in one room using your high performance left and right speakers for both systems and getting the best of both worlds with no compromises. All you need is a home theater receiver with front channel preamp outputs and a two channel piece with a home theater bypass option. So you may be thinking, are there any disadvantages to this setup? Well, if you want to run a subwoofer with both two channel and home theater, it can get a bit more complicated. However, most people who do have this have full range left and right speakers and don't want to use a sub with them. But if you do, please reach out to us at audioadvice.com so we can help you determine the very best options for you. It will vary based on your subwoofer and how it can connect up. But again, we'll help you out there as well. I hope this video has helped you understand home theater bypass and how it could be a great option for you. If you have more questions, reach out to our team of experts at audioadvice.com via phone, chat, or email, and we'll be happy to help you out. And if you stop by one of our award-winning showrooms, we can show you how we have home theater bypass set up in one of our own demo theaters. Our team can also help you choose the right equipment for you and make sure that you get free shipping, expert support, and a price guarantee. And if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming content. It also helps us continue to make videos like these, so we really appreciate your support. Now thanks for watching, and until next time, happy listening.